And shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call halayim la yahawa bahashim, yahawa shai bahashim, wacha kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahawa, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahawa shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great wisdom, who teach and will will, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel and come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wacha Kodash, on the brother Adna from Jermaine Smith's camp. In lesson, we'll be on this um video from John Maxwell and Till Cook uh, interview, 1993. And this um pretty much was sent to me by the brother in the bar. And it, as you can see, you know, that th this new computer chip was pretty much going to what the RFID microchip the mark of the beast in this video the fulfill you purposes only you know educational person uh, purposes only man you know so let's play it and i'm gonna get one precept you already know revelation 13 to 16 let's just play this junk i believe it's like no more than five minutes and i get the precept you know what let's go and start with it revelation 13 to 16 and he calls it all right he the elites right both small and great Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Why right, this mark? Let me go into it. This in the Greek. What's your Chawagma? Strong G, 5480. Charagma. Charagma. Yeah, and get straight to the point. It's a strong definition. It's a badge of servitude, you know. Um, I mean, that's pretty much what it is, man. You know, the mark in your forehead or your right hand. The scripture says, let's continue. And then no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. His wisdom let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, but it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six, what, right? six, six, six. You know, and we go into that six 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 is high side stigma. But let's go into the um I believe the stigma of it. Strong's G fifty five sixteen. Chai Xai Stigma. Right, so this is strong Chai Xai Stigma. So this is just a uh, strong definition of it. The stigma. And this outline of biblical usage, you can see the root word of it, you know, was this though to stick an example prick, right? So I marked prick in or brand upon the body to ancient Yorton usage. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branding or prick cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devoted who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. So you take this mark, right? You telling the Lord, the creator heaven and earth, Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai, that your God is Esau Edom. You know? RFID microchip, man. And the strongest definition of what is a mark, insists or punch for recognition of ownership. It's ownership, and that's exactly what the elites, the devils, want to do. They want to um, chip everybody. Revelation 3 and 10, right? The hour of temptation, man. So don't take the mark of the beast, which being the RFID microchip. But it's going to come a time, right? As it say, what? That no man might buy or eat. It's about itself. Right, you ain't going to be able to eat it as well. Cause this is pretty much what we at with in, in today's society, man. Everything on cashless and digital, man. You know, you want to participate and function in this man's society, you're going to have to take, what, the mark of the beast. You know, he require everybody, everyone, man. Whether you rich, you, you know, you poor, you homeless, you in jail or whatever. This is what he want, you know. But the penalty of it is what? Revelation 14 and... um. Let's start at 9, Revelation 14 and 9. The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, either hand, 
The same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mystery into the cup of his indignation. Right, the Most High, Yahweh Bashemah Shai, in the nation, especially if you're an Israelite, a so called Negro, Black, Hispanic, Latino, or Native American, or you've been scattered, you may look like the other nations, but your spirit goes back to an Israelite. Hey, you're going to take part in that in the nation, righteous judgment. Because while we belong to Yahweh Shemal Shai, he is our husband, he is our, uh, uh, you know, our creator, man. <laughs> you know, we don't belong to these devils, man. So you take Esau Mark, right? His device in your head or your forehead, head or forehead, your hand or, or your forehead, you telling the Lord that you belong to him. And the Lord going to destroy you, man. You know? So he said, which is poured out without mystery into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. Right, the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Bashamah Shai going to destroy you by nuclear fire. You're going to be part of the lake of fire, the second death if you take this man uh, device, man. And we've seen it. You got Elon Musk, which is uh, free trial, right? Or, or you know, new, new link and so forth and so on, man. They volunteered to take it. But this is where we at with it. So this goes back to 1993. And I'm not giving that medical advice as well. Expert on this new computer chip that's supposed to go in the back of the hand. It all relates to this Council on Foreign Relations group, the Bilderbergers, the Club of Rome, this oligarchy who's trying to bring it all about. That's right. Anthony, um, let's make a very complex issue as simple as possible for the people's benefit. The New World Order really consists of three aspects. There is a New World political system that everyone today is calling the New World Order, as well as that there is a, an economic plan for the New World Order, and that is called the New World Economic Order. Uh, in addition to those two items, there is a third plan for religion. You see, uh, the planners of the world know that men need a religion of some kind, even if it's a false one. So they have a plan to give us a new age, world, global, occultic religion. So really, there's, there's three aspects to this new world order. A new world economic order, in which a computer chip will be injected into our hands or foreheads as a means to track, control, and identify us, and will also be used to uh, make our purchases and scan and Well, they've, they've already put the program in in Los Angeles. In fact, uh, right. a trilateralist uh, named Mayor mm -hmm. Bradley, Uncle Tom Bradley, was uh, responsible for putting right. this in dogs. Right. And your children will be uh, considered like animals, like animals. And uh, But, you know, uh, before we get into that, which is uh, uh, later down the road, I think we should clearly explain to people what the Illuminati is. You know, for, for those of us uh, who are acquainted with this term, uh, we don't have to explain it to ourselves, but for the average person out there, they've never heard this term. Jordan, explain to people what Illuminati means. Well, it comes from, <clears throat> the word Illuminati comes from the Latin word Illuminan or Illumin, which in, it is, means light. And so anyone who is enlightened or brilliant, and of course those who are the most uh, enlightened are called brilliant people. Well, it comes from Lucifer. Well, what we're really I'm talking about here is Lucifer, the fallen angel. And well, as, as I was saying, it, it implies those who hold the light, the enlightened ones. And they, they sent us a statue, as a matter of fact. Those, uh, those ancient Illuminati sent us a statue called the Statue of Liberty. It's holding the torch, the torch of illumination, which is the Promethean torch of Freemasonry. And if you go to the Statue of Liberty, you'll see a bronze plaque inside saying that this was given to the government of America by the French Grand Orient Temple Masons. And it is a symbol of Grand Orient Freemasonry in, in America, the holder of the light. And that's exactly the same torch that is carried during the uh, Olympics. It is the well, torch of not Prometheus. The, it's not the, the torch of freedom. No, it's not it's the, the torch, torch of freedom. of the, the illumination. Illuminati. Illumination. So essentially, in a nutshell, then, Jordan, these, these men whom we tend to call or, or group in a in an organization called the Illuminati. It's a loose-knit, uh, but tightly uh, secretive organization. Well, operating through the Council on Foreign right. Relations, through the Trilateral right. Commission. This, Technology. this Illuminati, then, is, is the group of men who control not only all the money 
on the planet through all the world banks and the Federal Reserve and so on, but they control essentially all the governments. And so these men are planning to bring, a, uh, bring about a global form of government that's unique in all history. It's a total enslaving system of world communism and fascism controlled by a hierarchy in Europe uh, that uh, Anthony calls what? The oligarchy. Well, no, I call it the evil archy. The evil archy. The oligarchy okay. is evil. So these men are satanically inspired, and of course we get that term from the Bible, which means the devil. They're satanically inspired to bring about a global form of government to every nation on earth. I wanted to add also that on the back of the Liberty Dime, um, on the back of the old dime in America, there was the fashion dime which uh, you look in the encyclopedia or dictionary and look at the word fascism you'll see that the symbol for world fascism was a bundle of sticks a bundle of rods with a hatchet head that was on the back of the well you see that on, on each side of the speaker's podium at congress oh absolutely so and they have the, the on each side. absolutely and it's also the symbol for the united states senate is the fashion but i'm uh, but the point i want to make is that that was on the old dime now on the new dimes you will see it has been transplanted uh, a torch instead of the old fasci. So, so right, so this was part one. If I can find part two, Lord, I, I post it. But, you know, his image, his new world order, all that. Hey, you know what? Let's get uh, into with Psalms 21 and 11, you know, because, you know, 2 Corinthians, what, 2 and 11, we're not ignorant. We can get that one. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let saints should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. What, what, what did he say? His evil schemes, man. His plots. You know, so Psalms 21 and 11. For they intend an evil against thee, they imagine a, a mischievous device. And what is that mischievous device? It's NWO, his new world order. You see, he want everybody to be chipped. Going way right back. According to what biblical prophecy, Revelation 13 to 16, you know, he calls all both small and great, which are poor, free and bun. So, for they attend an evil against thee, they imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform, right? They are not able to perform. What it's saying, Job, what it's saying, NOT, although they plot against you, their evil schemes will never succeed, right? They're not going to be successful. The book of Job. When they about to uh, for, uh, fill his belly, then the most high shit raining down upon him, man. But this preached up in Job, I might get both. I don't want to make the lesson too long, but this is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. They would not be successful. He frustrates the plans of, screen, of schemers so the work of their hands would not succeed, man. And this year, how about Shem all shot, man? I'm going to get the one that Job. Job 20. You know, start 22. But it's Job 20, 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Mosai should cast the fury of his wrath upon him. What's that? The Milsons, man. And should rain upon him while he is eating, man. He shall flee from the iron rip, um, weapon, the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through the missiles, man. So pretty much, Esau either would not be successful, you know. He would. And, and, and what a hey, Romans eleven chapter. I have um, left seven thousand men that should not um, bow to. I don't got it. With me. Let's let's grab it, man. Revelation eleven, Revelation, Romans eleven, and four. But what? Said the answer of the most sound to him. I have reserved to myself seven thousand men with seven thousand men completion, pretty much the elect, right? Who have not bowed a knee to the image of Baal, man. Even so, then this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. It's all, it's come on, man. It's all about the elect at the end of the day, man. This is the Lord coming to save the elect, the elect women, the elect men. You know, two thirds gonna be cut off and die. And you take what? This man <laughs> implantable grain of rice in your head or hand, you know, butt cheek or whatever. Hey, you gonna be destroyed by nuclear fire, so don't not take it. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, this video from TikTok, it will uh, fulfill use purposes only. 
edu educational purposes only. And all praises to Yahweh Shalom.